hey guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm really excited about because for the very first time i'm going to be building my very first gaming pc so i've wanted a gaming pc for a while now maybe like a year or two um but i never had the chance to actually do it because i didn't know what i was doing i didn't know what i was supposed to be getting i didn't know anything about gaming pcs and as of recent i have about four friends that built their pc so they have more experience than me they helped me out with this and i'm very grateful for that but today i will be building it myself i've never done it so hopefully this goes well i have faith i have faith that i'll, I'll be pretty good i have like a general idea of what i'm doing let's get started so this is the case i got it has RGB in the front, like right here. Turn it on, it will have the lights right here. Majority of my stuff are RGB. Uh, some of them are not. But that's okay. I really can't wait until this is like finished. So what I'm going to put in first is the power supply. So this is what it looks like. It's, it's pretty big. Hopefully I'm putting this in the right place. Either I'm really slow and I don't know what I'm doing, but um... I don't think my PSC fits in here. Um, and then, and then, since it's under like the compartment, I got an RGB. I doubt you're gonna see that from the inside. Oh my gosh. What I'm going to try to do is see if I can take off the other side and maybe slip it through the. This is why you're supposed to read the manual. Two fans in the front. Also, I have to keep everything. That's crazy. That's wild. I ain't, I ain't know that. Like I said, guys, read the menu. <laughs> Don't be me and try to figure it out on your own because um, you're gonna think that you got the wrong things. And you start, you're going to start questioning everything. Because that's probably going to last like 15 minutes. Because I didn't read the manual and I was trying to get the freaking power supply inside without reading. So let's continue. These are the pants I got. So it says to take out the front piece. But um, I don't know how to do that. So I'm trying to wonder if I can put the fans without taking the front piece off. Cause it it just says to take it off. Like it doesn't even tell you how to. And I don't want to pull it and break something. I'm scared. Oh. 
I gotta read y'all. I need to stop. I need to stop not reading. This fits. I freaking hope this fits. I mean, when I switched it up, this like it fits. Cause I use the PC part picker, PC part picker website. So it is. It said it fits, so hopefully, hopefully it Manual says. Manual says. Put the fans in the front. Right? Put the fans in the front. Okay. Y'all, I am clueless. So at this point, it had already been two, almost three days, and I had done like actual research. Uh, I had gotten really stressed out because. At first, when I tried putting my CPU in, it was not clicking. I found out it was because it was damaged. So I had to go and get a new one. Then, when I was reading the manual for the CPU cooler, it had just said to put the cooler onto the CPU and just connect the brackets. But it didn't tell me to remove the bracket. It, I didn't understand anything. So I had to do a lot of video research and then what didn't help was that when I went to try and put in the brackets, again, it didn't tell me to switch them. I didn't know there was different types and I was just like really annoying. So when I was recording this, I kind of just did it. I wanted to get it over with. Here I am putting in the motherboard. For some reason with this case, the motherboard did not line up properly with the, the screw holes. It didn't sit properly and that frustrated me even more. So as you can see, I switched out the brackets so it can match up properly. I was putting in the screws that it came with instead of the old ones. So to start off my setup, I have two monitors. They're both the same ones. They're from Dell. Uh, I accidentally got them without speakers. So I had to get separate speakers they're 24 inches i believe uh they have really good you know picture quality their pixels are great they it shows pretty well with the games it's not laggy or pixelated and it looks really really nice so the stuff on my desk i have a bunny phone stand i got this from amazon a lego i got from a game a bakugo figure a few squishies a harley quinn pop and on the other side, I have a J-Hope pop. Uh, these are all given to me by people, except for the 
Luther logo and the phone stand. These speakers, I got them cheap off of Amazon. They're they're okay. They do have a bit of a static sound once you get to a certain volume. They have like a knob on the back. Here I have a Sakura poster uh, also from Amazon. It comes in pink and it also comes in white. Then I have my Razer keyboard. It's really, really nice. It has that clickety sound. I believe they're green switches. I got the one that came with the keyboard rust, which is detachable. It doesn't really stick on. It just kind of sits there. With this keyboard, you have a volume scroll and a playback button. You can customize the colors on it. Here I have a mouse pad, which is a card catcher mouse pad, also from Amazon. It has a few light options. You can't customize this one because it's just the regular mouse pad LED. It's nice. The only issue I have with it is these two modes where the color changes midway, where you have two sets of colors. I don't really like it. Here we have the Cougar mouse. You can customize the colors, but the only problem is that for some of the settings, like this one, the you can only change the bottom lights. You can't change the top. It stays in... The color spectrum you can't really change you could change the speed but you can't really change the color except for one or two modes where you're able to change in the bottom of the mouse you have the dpi button where you can customize the color so you can tell which dpi level it is i got this from amazon again it's a wrist rest and it's like really really squishy and it's comfortable i like it this chair again i also got it from amazon it's the autofold pink gaming chair it's pretty good except for depending on what you wear you will stain the sides and the chair itself but it's really cute it comes with a little headband depending it's a random gift you either get a rug or you get a seat cushion cover here we have my razor quartz kitty bluetooth headphones and the razor stand again with anything with razor you are able to customize the colors you're able to put whatever color you want and how they show up here i have the razor siren x microphone it's a pretty good microphone uh when it comes to gaming it sounds really really nice uh the knob on it a lot of people don't realize what it's for it's actually for headphones you're able to connect your headphones to it and the volume knob is for that uh this mic stand i got is from newer uh it works pretty far it's really well i like it and then to the side of my gaming setup i have my school setup which is kind of my studio because i'm taking mrt so i got this keyboard again off of amazon um it's it's okay it's not too loud or anything it's kind of soft the only problem i have is that you're not able to change the colors when i had got it i had misread what i can do but yeah, it just stays like that or it fades, but it stays in those same positions. The mouse, again, it flashes, you can't customize it. The windscreen and the pop filter, again, I also got those from Amazon. I have a lot of things from Amazon. It came with the arm and the phone holder. Then I have this headphone holder that sticks to the side of my shelf. I got this sofa with my little plushies. Then I have a few little canvases that I got from Target. I got this curtain also off of Amazon. It's a blackout curtain. It doesn't block out too much, but it blocks out enough. I got this shelf at Wayfair, I believe also. It's a ladder uh, shelf. It's really cute. I have my plushies. I have books from school. I got a light letter also from Amazon. It's really cute. 
which is a bunch of textbooks, my Pandora box, my Batman light, and my amplifier. I'm still kind of filling it up, but here I have my keyboard. I have sound panels on some parts of my walls. They're still a work in progress. These also got from Amazon. They're pretty good. They're not best of the best, but they're pretty decent. They do the job. Then here I have this selfie light, which has little cute ears on it. It has three different shades of light and three different brightnesses, and it's really, really good. I have this carpet I also got from Amazon. And then I have the filing cabinet under that I got from, I believe, Wayfair. It's really nice. I put all my school workbooks in there if I need it or my chargers. Uh, since I have a lot of wires coming in and out of my computer, I got USB adapters. Both of them are from Amazon and they work pretty well. They also have light up buttons so you can turn them off if you're not using them. 